Hey guys, this past week we um, took a deeper look into chapter 4 and we compared the Samaritan woman to Nicodemus. So today, while you've been thinking about this chapter and maybe hopefully answering some of the questions that we asked, I want us to ask ourselves that um, if we're looking more like Nicodemus, somebody who thinks that they're right, somebody that thinks that they're good enough and didn't really see a need of repentance, are we more like the Samaritan woman that we we are able to admit our sin and we're hungry for what the answer is and then we go and tell others. And um, you know, one thing that I wanna leave us with is that there is no one that is good enough to get into heaven on their own. And that was the problem with a lot of the Pharisees. They thought that they could do all these good things to earn their spot in heaven. And there's no one that can be good enough to earn that spot. Um, and then there's no one bad enough to be able to get out of God's um, grasp and for salvation. And so that is just the complete other um, spectrum. There's nothing that you've done that could disqualify you from receiving this free gift of salvation. It's offered to everyone who will just take it. And so today I just wanna encourage you, whether you think that you've lived a good life and that you're doing everything right, or you think that you've made too big of a mistake, that all of us are called to see our need for a savior and to call upon him. And so I just encourage you for that, just to examine your heart and to see where you are. And then again, to just figure out what your story is. What has God done that you feel that you need to go tell others? I encourage you to get into the word because once you get into the word, he's gonna start revealing these things to you and it's gonna be exciting and you're not gonna be able to help but go and tell other people. So I just pray that you have a good week. We'll be hitting chapter five this Thursday. So I'll see you soon. Happy reading.